Boy, oh boy, do I got a special, special video for y'all today. This is Rashard McKim responding back to uh to Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith on a rent gave Rashard McKent free promo because he went at Kobe Bryant. Rashard McKent is now responding. He's saying why Kobe's Bryant the best and why he had to res put the respect on Kobe's name. Let's take a look. I really want to dive in deep into a key. And Barton's sake, we know how Rashard McKent already feels. He think Kobe the best ever. I agree. People on here agree. People think Michael 1A, Kobe 1B. But let's, let's watch some of the video, but I'm going to skip over some stuff. NBA players, that say what I say. And agree and feel the way I agree. Because we played. We watched it. We seen it. Shaq played with Mike and played against Mike before he played with Kobe. Then he won with Kobe and was able to say, shit, damn, man. This dude really is that guy. Now, he might have had some comments that said that LeBron was the GOAT at some point because the GOAT of accomplishments does exist. So when you're the number one all-time scorer, you got to throw some respect on that shit. And I agree. But skill-wise and the play the game-wise and what we've seen, man, there's two guys that just, I've seen the toughest defense in the world. Watch this, Sherry. Kobe doing. Bryant created moves because of this nigga's defense was that good. We ain't never seen that shit. He was forced to do shit you could never do. That's it right there. That's it right there. That's some of why Kobe Bryant the best ever. When Sean McKinney say, Kobe made it move because nigga defense that good. He was doing shit that nobody else would do. Like these dudes, Michael Jordan playing with six four six. Not to discredit Michael. Michael was great, phenomenal. Do the same thing Kobe can do. I'm quite sure Kobe was Michael was start playing against these guys, but we don't see him. We didn't see him do it. Kobe had counter move for every counter move that you can think of. He the best ever. The skill set is Michael. It's Kobe. It's Kobe then it's Michael. Either way you want to flip it. I got Kobe with the skill set. I got Michael with the greatest with the comes with being a, the second best to Kobe. This he, I mean he, he said it perfectly. Nigga had to make moves because of how good the defense, the nigga defense was. And he still was able to give niggas crazy work. That's it right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's in a nutshell. That's it. With the respect to just be it. Be the, that's it. Now I want to move on with, to what Kenya Martin said. Because he said something profound because he had to guard Kobe in, in the NBA final when he was doing this in the West Conference finals in the Western Conference. First round with AI Melo and Kenya Martin in the name. Then he had to guard. Then they switched it. They say, Melo, you got Melo. You got Melo on tape saying, come on. We're not putting it does. I'm we're not putting Kenyon Martin on this show on Kobe because that shit got us swept. Kobe went berserk. went berserk. First game, I think first game, he was 48. T uh 10 uh, 10 assists. I mean 49 points. I'm sorry, 49 points, 10. Let, let me short change. Over 70% shooting from the field. He averaged over 33 in that series on 50% shooting. Kenyon when you hear Kenyon Martin talk, LeBron ain't finished. Shut up forever. Let's skip to it. Like, like you gotta listen to the players, bro. Listen to they. They know how to feel to play against Mike. The feel is guess what I feel. They're not stat, not a stat sheet. We keep telling you niggas, but y'all niggas don't want to listen. So listen to some NBA pro, Kenya Mark. Listen to an All Star. Listen to a guy that's been in the NBA Finals, been to a Western Conference, play against Kobe, guard him. Let's go here. Hey. Let's go here. So mm -hmm. Without fucking question. Hey. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> I'm gonna start right here, y'all. Y'all listen, y'all listen. Don't listen to me. Don't listen. So, yeah, so, but for us, for me, Kobe has never been out of the best basketball player of all time debate. It's King. Never. Because mm. I played against him. I had guard. Mm. Badass man. With the ball, the in, his ball in his hand. Mm? Competitive as they come, five rings. All of it. Can talk about because he had Shaq. Stop that shit. He got five rings, man. <laughs> Facts. Stop that narrative. Just stop it. He got five. He is who he is. Mm -hmm. um, through, through our generation of playing, my 15 years of playing basketball. 15 years of playing. Kobe Bryant was the best basketball player in the National Basketball Association. Mm -hmm. Without fucking question. Damn, man. Right? So, so for me. Five. High five, King, goddamn. Like for me, it's he always has been here. Right? I look at him and so there's always gonna be a debate. Mm -hmm. Everything is subjective to everybody's opinion. Mm -hmm. Everybody has an opinion about it. So respect everybody's opinion about it. That's all I'm like, because it's Where do you rank him? I don't rank I I, I don't have 
I don't care, to be honest with you. I, I think I said this a long time ago with, with, with King Martin to say, Generate, you got to do generations because stats inflated. You got to look at it. Like, look you have to. You have to because they had played against each other. Because there was a dominant bad. There was one dominant basketball player in every generation of basketball that the league knew when they put them uniform on. He won. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at it. Facts. Because you. When you don't, I look. I, I I hear Michael Jordan when they ask him about it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a too. On the people that played before. Mike him said that out his own mouth. Him this. Yeah. And this is coming from the man himself. Go YouTube it. Mike said it. I can't call me the ghost. This person yeah. people. And I think about that. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say that Kareem wasn't great when he was. I'm not gonna say Wilk wasn't the greatest at his job. I'm not gonna say that mm -hmm. because they were. Yeah. Do when Michael Jordan plays, absolutely. Was the best thing smoking? Yes. When Kobe played absent, they held the torch. LeBron has, hold, has held the torch, right? Right now. So that's just what I think. I don't have a best basketball. Am I a Michael Jordan fan? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I didn't grow up a Michael Jordan fan like everybody else. Mm -hmm. If you ask me, I, people don't put Isaiah Thomas as one of the best. I fucking admire Isaiah Thomas for what he did for the game at the at the size he was and what he did. Thanks. So I look at basketball in a different light than everybody else. I'm not into putting people here and here and, mm -hmm. and saying who. No, I, I don't. It's just it's the same thing with basketball. It's the same music, thing with music, best it's quarterback. The same thing who's the best quarterback? Of generation. All time, you got to do a generation. Receiver. Who's the best one? All this shit is subject to everybody's opinion. Yeah. That's facts right there. We won't leave it just like that. This shit is dope what he said. I, and it's dope. Because you look at these guys' generation day. These niggas putting up 30-some points and shooting the lights out. You think these niggas better shoot a better score than the, 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 the generation before them? No. Just the rule got it. So many rules inflated in the 80s, in the 90s, in football. You think that price got better than Joe Montana? You think that price better? Than no. You wouldn't dare think that. But the numbers are inflated. That's why you don't look at stats. You look at how they play. You judge it by the numbers. I, I say this all the time. But it's profound what 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 all these great these these players and these personalities said about the goat conversation in the real best of. When you look at skill wise, skill set, this man Rashawn can say Kobe Bryant made moves because nigga defense was that good and he still was that good because he overshadowed the defense. He gave him crazy work. He was the best ever putting up fifties and forty piece, having thirty five on the best defenses. He had to make shit. Nobody was doing that. We talking about and then people would get mad like Kobe. Kobe came out here and said bro. I want three with Shaq. They said, oh, the narrative was he came in without Shaq. He didn't hear Shaq or, or, or Phil say nothing. They was quiet on it. Okay, fuck it. Let me do my own thing. I'm going, it's a challenge. I go win two without, I go three straight champions. Back to back, win two without, I got more than him. And I said, oh, bro, you selfish, bro. You selfish. And then I use it against him to this day. Like, how can you, like, you got to pick something. You can't say he had three with Shaq. And then when he leave, why you break up the relationship with Shaq? You and Shaq could have been special. But you, that could have won 10 together. But y'all would get all credit to Shaq when he came on without Shaq. They come on without each other. When the truth of the matter is, Shaq come on without Kobe. Kobe, Kobe came in as a starter to help Shaq win. Kobe wasn't a, 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 a elite great player. He was a fucking high school kid coming to the NBA. Shaq was already solidified, all-star, premium all-star, one of the best players, probably the best, second best player in the league behind Shaq, or maybe Hakeem was top three. Michael, Jordan, Shaq, Hakeem, Michael, Jordan, Hakeem, or Shaq. Michael, Shaq already been to NBA final. Shaq, he played with all-stars in Atlanta. He played with Penny. In Orlando, he played with Dennis Scott. He played with Van Exel also. He played with Eddie Jones as an all-star. And into that young guy, Kobe Bryant, came into the starting lineup at age 21 and took off as an all-star in this league and, and, and caterpillar all the way to the top of the game. That's when Shaq started winning. And then when Shaq leave, oh, he ran Shaq out of town. But when he went without Shaq, oh, he said, come on. He said, you cannot do that. Get him in his floor. Give him respect. Stop hating. That's all we saying. Put some respect and respect the greatness of it. Y'all hit that subscribe button, share the video, comments if you like. See you on the next one.